Managing projects is hard work. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use monday.com's progress tracking feature to make project management a little bit easier. Let's not waste any more time and head straight over to monday.com. So as you can see here, I am in an example monday.com system and I've got board number one and board number two. Now to start with, we're going to go with board number two and I'll come on to board number one later on in this video. You can see here, we have got a number of different status options per item. And the example that I'm going to give for this video is the workflow that we would use to publish this exact video. So there are a number of things that need to go into it. We need to script this video. We then need to edit the video. We need to quality control the video. And then there are a few other steps, but for the purpose of this video, let's just go with the bulk of them. Now you can see here, we can change the status of scripting the video to working on it, done, lost. Um, so let's just say I have scripted this video because I'm recording it right now, but it has not yet been edited and it's not yet been quality controlled. But I wanna be able to track the progress of this particular video. So how far gone are we? Where are we in the pipeline of content production? So in order to do that really, really easily, what I would do is press the plus button on the far right hand side to add a new column. And what we're looking for is the progress column. So go to more columns and just search progress tracking. Go ahead and press add to board. Now, this is a fantastic feature that gives us a percentage amount based on the completion of different status options. Now, as standard, the progress tracking will just take into consideration all status columns on a particular board, and then it will divide that number and then just give you a percentage. So obviously, one third is 33.33% reoccurring. Monday.com have uh, <laughs> worked up to 34%, which makes perfect sense. If I change the status of this to done, so edit video, which is two thirds, it will then change to 67%. So that's really, really useful. That helps us keep on top of the progress of every single item, whatever you're managing inside of your monday.com system at a gl quick glance, especially if you've got loads and loads of status columns. You don't want to be scrolling across the board to find out what's going on. Now, there are a few things that we can change with the progress column, and I'll show you how to do that now. If we hover over the progress column and press the three dotted button and go to settings, we want to go to customize progress tracking. Couple things to mention here. One, not all status columns have to be included in progress tracking. So as an example, you might have an overarching status column, which is the parent status column that defines when the entire job has been done. That doesn't necessarily need to go into progress column settings or your progress tracking. So if you see that status column here, you can just unselect it, which brings me then nicely onto my next point. We can distribute the percentage based on the various status columns. So you can see here, I've just unselected the script video and monday.com is upset because 33 and 33 equals 66, which means there's a 34% um, difference, which doesn't work for the progress tracking, as I'm sure you can imagine. So if I just press this distribute weight equally button, it would then split it 50-50 again. However, there are gonna be instances where scripting the video is gonna take a lot more work or scripting and editing the video might be 75% of the entire project. Whereas quality control is only 25%. It's a small chunk or maybe 10%. So to show you how we do this, what you need to do, and I'm going to just reselect the script video. I'm going to say that the scripting video is easily 40% of the workload. Um, and then editing the video again is easily 40%. And quality control, that's just someone watching the video. That's super easy. So that's only 10% of the workload. So if I'm now correctly, 80, 90, well, I've got my maths wrong there. Let's say 20% for quality control. That has now distributed the weight to 100%. But the value of each of the status columns is different. So I'll go ahead and press the save button. And you can see here that script video has been done. Um, if I go ahead and change the edit video to done as well, that would give me an 80% completion for that particular item. And then and finally, for quality control, I can press done and that gives us the remaining 20%. So that's really, really helpful when it comes to managing individual items on a board using the progress tracking. Um, you can go mad with this, get as technical and percentage specific as you like. So that's progress tracking at its core, but we can actually take this one step further. And let me show you how. What I want to do is I want to be able to see the progress of all of these items. So item one, two, three, four, and five from one item inside of board number one. So let's call this the parent item. Um, I'm gonna change the name parent item number one. I'll just call it parent item. And I wanna be able to see the entire progress 
for all of the items on board number two. So you that's essentially high level and low level. High level being the overarching project, low level being board number two, everything that's going on. So how do we achieve this? What we need to do is we need to connect board number one to board number two. Now, I've done another video on connection columns inside of monday.com. If you want to give that a watch, check that out. I'm going to blast through this quickly. Add column. We need to go connect. Um, select the board that we like to connect with. So it's going to be board number two. And I'm going to create a two-way connection. Press connect boards and select. I'll do it later. Um, the one, Well, actually, I should have just added the mirror column straight there. So what I'll do is press add and then just search for mirror column. And then we need to connect our mirror column to our um, connection column. And then what we want to do is the mirror that we want to highlight is the progress tracking. So what we can do now is go back to board number two. And you can see here that the connection column has auto populated on board number two from board number one, as we've just set up. And what I would do is I would mass select all of these and associate this item with the parent item on board number one that we've just created. Um, so command A, or you can select both groups, um, command A or control A if you're using a Windows, um, and then you can go ahead and select all of the items on board number two and connect them with board number one. Now, if I then head back to board number one, you can see here that our progress tracking represents the total percentage completion for every single item inside of board number two. So if I go back here and I change this to done, this to done, that's going to give us 80% on here. I'll change this to done, this to done as well, just to give you an example, maybe this one as well. That is then going to update on board number one, the progress tracking at 56% for every single item. Now do bear that in mind, it's going to be for every single item. However, if I remove this connection for item number two, that's then going to increase from 56% to 70% because there's less that has not been done. So this is how to use progress tracking. Um, it makes it way easier. The use case for this is let's say my content production team are using board number two um, and there's loads of stuff going on it's a complete headache and i don't want to click into it but i want to just go to board number one and i want to see what is happening oh i can go oh all of the videos that are done are 70 percent. so that's an indicator that i probably need to produce more content to get it back to maybe 50 or 40 percent to keep them busy just as an example one other thing to mention in board number two is if you are continually adding new items um, and obviously you want to automatically associate it with board number one to ensure you've got progress tracking at a high level, what I recommend you do is just press the three dotted button and you want to go to item default values or default item values and then go to select board number one down here and just select parent item and just press save. So what you're telling monday.com is every time a new item is created, as you can see here, press the enter button it will automatically associate with the parent item on board number one so it saves your team forgetting and what you want and the and you might want to take this a step further actually and just press the three dotted button at the top here and then restrict column editing so then they can't accidentally unselect it or they miss it or you could even remove from view so to do that go to settings if i press remove restriction settings again and restrict column view and just restrict it to myself so the people using this particular board unless they've been given access to see this column, they can't even see it. So they just concentrate on what they're doing, their workload. And from board number one, I can see exactly what is going on um, and the status of everything. So that's how I would recommend approaching this. There are loads of different use cases. This is perfect for projects, especially if you've got a master board to manage all of your projects. And then on the lower level boards, in each board, there's like the nuance of what needs to be done for the project. This is a fantastic way of managing things. Just see the progress, make sure everything's on track. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you need any help setting up monday.com for your business, check out the link below. We would be delighted to help. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.